everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler. I'm here to give you another video on the functions of the skeletal muscle, of the superficial muscles. Today I'm going to be going over the trapezius muscle. So there are three sections to the trapezius muscle. There is the upper, the middle, and the lower. Again, I'll go over the origin of the muscle, the insertion, and the function of the muscle and some exercises for the muscle. Just remember that the exercises that I give, you're not limited to. You can create your own. You can uh, use some others. There is various exercises for a lot of things. So, here we go. First off, I'm gonna go over the origin. So like I said, it is divided into three sections. Okay, you have the upper, middle, and lower. All right, so the upper portion of the trapezius actually starts at the base of the skull, the occipital protuberance, and goes down the back of the uh, neck on the posterior ligaments of the neck. So it would start, like I said, at the base of the skull and run down your neck on the posterior ligaments of the neck. Okay, then the middle portion of the trapezius actually picks up on the seventh cervical vertebrae or C7 and runs all the way down to your third thoracic vertebrae, which is T3. Right, so around your around here would be your seventh cervical vertebra and then it runs all the way down to the third thoracic vertebra. Okay, so it's a little short section. Okay, if you can see, I'm a, couldn't see myself do it in the video, so hopefully I got a good enough view for you guys. And then the lower portion of the trapezius muscle actually continues from T4, or the fourth thoracic vertebra, and goes all the way down to your last thoracic vertebra, which is T12. Okay, so you have seven cervical vertebra and you have 12 thoracic vertebra. Okay, so it encompasses all that. So actually, the, the lower portion would actually be from T3, which is probably roughly around here. Okay, and it continues all the way down to about your middle back or so. Okay, so it is from the base, the entire trapezius muscle is from the base of the skull all the way down to your 12th thoracic vertebra. Okay, so it's very long and then again it connects to smaller portions on your arm. So, the upper portion of the thoracic, or I'm sorry, upper portion of the trapezius muscle uh, connects to the lateral aspect of the third clavicle. Okay, so you're looking at the outer portion of your clavicle. That's where the upper portion of the trapezius muscle connects to. Okay, so the middle portion will connect to the medial border of the acromion process and the upper border of the spine of your scapula or your shoulder blade, okay? So connect from about here, find that little bump, that's your chromium process, and it connects all the way on the top of the spine of the scapula. Then the lower portion of the trapezius connects to a tiny triangular uh, portion of the spine on the bottom of the spine on the scapula. Okay, so if you feel that ridge on the top would be the middle part and then there's a lower portion, a little where it starts to round on the bottom of your spine. You can kind of see it right here. That is where your lower portion of the trapezius comes into. Okay, so that would be on both sides. So it's like a diamond shape or a kite whichever one you prefer to call it. 
So if we know the origin and the insertion of the trapezius muscle. Please remember that there are two sides to it. So it connects from the base of the skull all the way down to the 12th thoracic vertebrae and connects to both shoulders on the back, creating a diamond or a kite shape. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the functions and some exercises of the trapezius muscle. First off, the upper portion again. We have elevation of the scapula. We also have upward rotation of the scapula. And we also have extension of the neck, which is, if you were to look up, your trapezius muscle helps with that. And we also have rotation of the neck, so that is left. And then if you were to look straight again, or I'm sorry, that would be right. And we have left. Okay? So those are the four functions of the upper trapezius muscle. So for exercises, it's obviously kind of hard to get a neck exercise in unless you have a strap that you'd feel comfortable with wrapping around your skull. I have seen it done. Um, some people do want to do it. Some people are not so much comfortable with putting stuff around their head. So that's completely up to you, but the option is there. They use uh, a strap. They put it right around their forehead on secure enough so that it won't fly off or it won't slip down on their face. Um, but they'll pull back their head and work their upper trapezius. Or the most obvious one, you can do shrugs. Okay? That's all you're going to do. Shrugs. And you can hold dumbbells at your side. You can uh, hold a barbell. Or you can have cables and shrug. It's completely up to you. Again, you're not limited to any exercise that I provide you on this video. So for the middle trapezius muscle, we also have elevation of the scapula. We also have upper rotation. Oh, before I go any further, I did forget one function exercise. For the upward rotation, and we can use this for the middle one as well, uh, We, the trapezius will help or assist in shoulder press because your your scapula whenever you do a shoulder press is doing upward rotation it is pulling away from your spine okay you can also do lateral raises that also pulls your scapula away from your spine uh, so it's not a main muscle that is worked but it can assist in that exercise um, so anyways, back to the middle portion of the uh, trapezius muscle. So again, we have elevation. We have scapular upward rotation. Okay. And we also have, in addition to those two, we have scapular adduction or retraction. That is, if your scapula is pulled away from the spine you can easily pull it back. Okay, you can, again, with the elevation and upward rotation, you'd have the exercises from the upper trapezius. So you'd be, while you're working out your upper trapezius, you're also working your mid trapezius. Okay, so for adduction or retraction, you can do rows. So you're pulling your scapula in, you're also, you also can do face pulls, which is the same thing as rows. You just pull it up higher. You can also do reverse flies, okay? And for the lower portion of the trapezius, we don't have elevation, but we have upward rotation again, so you can use the same exercises as I specified before. We also have adduction or retraction, Okay, and we also have depression of the scapula, which is whenever your scapula is up. So if they were up like this, it's basically bringing it down. Okay, so your scapula will slide from here and go straight down. 
Okay, so obviously we can use exercises from the previous two uh, portions of the trapezius for the third. But for depression, we can actually sit on a chair, put our palms face down, and lift ourselves off of the chair. So you'd want to keep straight arms like this, and all you do is push down and lift ourselves up. Not using anything but our hands to push ourselves up. Okay? So there is the origin, the insertion, functions, and exercises of the trapezius muscle. Again, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope you learned something. And I hope you're able to understand as to why you do certain exercises. And I hope you can come up with workouts of your own if you're if you don't have the money to buy them or you can't find the exact one that you want. So again, thanks guys for watching and have fun with it.